Good morning, Juice Feasters. This is Mike. It's uh, March 22nd, year 2010, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's day 15 of my 92-day Juice Feast. I'm just six days away from the 21-day uh, mark, which is a self-imposed goal that I uh, established for myself. A teacher once told me that if you can do anything for 21 days, you formed a new habit. And I've really come to the conclusion that this whole eating thing is more or less just a bad habit. Uh, and I don't mean eating food altogether. Obviously, the body needs food and uh, sustenance. But the way I've eaten it in the past has really been the outworking of a bad habit. Eating when I wasn't hungry eating when I just had a thought or a craving, eating when I was bored, just eating for the sake of eating. Well, having gone 21 days in the past drinking just water, uh, going without any kind of uh, nourishment at all, I know that a lot of this thing is just a mind game that we play on ourselves. We're looking for answers. I'm looking for answers. I've got to. I've got to quit speaking in that uh, that way. I don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm looking for answers. I'm looking for purpose. I'm looking for the reason that I'm here. Uh, this juice feast has a whole lot of meaning behind it. Part of it is weight loss. Most of it is psychological, because. Who feels good about themselves when they're a hundred or more pounds overweight? You not only are clear that the opposite sex isn't going to find you attractive, but you just don't feel good. You don't feel healthy. Uh, there's so many things when you're that overweight that just keep reminding you that it's not right, that there's something wrong, and you have to do something about it. But it's a roller coaster that's really difficult to get off of. So, I can see the 92 day mark. I can see the end of this thing. In my mind, I know that I'm going to achieve this, and I know there's going to be a whole lot of change in my body that's going to go along with the experience. And as my body changes, the psychological effects will be just as dramatic. So, that's the end of my speech for today. I feel good in the body. I feel good in the mind. I feel good in the spirit. I just feel good about what I've accomplished thus far. Being on day 15, no matter where you are in your juice feast, even if you're just thinking about it, even if you're just contemplating doing it, that's the beginning. That's how it all starts. Whatever your reasons, I hope you're able to get it started and get through it. My fellow juice feasters who are way, way ahead of me in days, congratulations. Those of you who are just starting, congratulations. Even if you just do this for two or three days, you've accomplished a lot, especially by the standards of the American eating habits. So uh, good for you. Keep it up. Love and light. I'll talk to you soon.